Podcast. Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is the last day. Of, no, no, no. December 1st, right? This is day one of the December Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, today, I guess I got a little bit more rest, but I'm still tired because I've been dealing with line issues. They delayed my flight for uh, tomorrow, so it hasn't happened yet. It's stressful because I'm trying to get it sorted out. But my 8 a.m. flight is now at 2 p.m. And I'm, that's basically the entire day, right? Because I have nothing to do here. Um, so I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, and also the other shenanigans happening with trying to rent a bike and then the guy just kind of ditched me. I don't know. It's been a really messy day. Uh, and I... Uh, I have a swollen anger from all the hiking and stuff like this, so it, I'm a bit of a mess. So that said, oh snap, I didn't even look at the thing. Uh, so that said, um, yeah, let's take a look at today's poem uh, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I still need to, uh, I need to wake up early tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, I need to wake up early tomorrow morning so that I can... Um, Go to the airport and see if I could get an earlier flight. Uh, such a silliness. But yeah, uh, let's take a look at today's problem. Uh, we'll see how, how I do, but uh, yeah. All right. Today we have 2141, maximum running time of time. Maximum running time of N computers. Okay. N computers, you're given integer N batteries. Um, oh yeah, one more thing is that uh, uh, if you're doing advent of code, uh, uh, well, join the Discord if you want to chat about it. Uh, we have a, uh, we have a, whatchamacallit, a leaderboard. Um, this year is going to be a little bit weird. I don't know how, they, you know, this is a new, different year. Uh, I, as you, you know, as I already mentioned, I am traveling, so I'm not going to do them, like, live or for the leaderboard, if you will. Um, but I'll still do videos, so if you want to, you know, uh, check your answers or look at how dumb I did mine or something like that, check that out. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Oh, and this is the this is not my password though. That would be funny. But this is the leaderboard uh, link or code or whatever. See if the see if it works. Um, or leave leave a comment in the YouTube if I forget. Uh, I'll, I'll paste it there as well. Uh, or I'll leave a comment on the YouTube. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at today's poem. We have n computers, right? Something like that. Each one can run for batteries of i minutes. You are interested in? running all and computers simultaneously using the given batteries. Initially, you can in insert one battery into each computer after that at any integer time moment. You can remove a battery in from a computer and insert another battery any number of times. Insert battery can be a totally new battery or a battery from another computer. You may assume that removing inserting takes no time. Note that batteries cannot be recharged. Return the maximum number of minutes you can run all and computers simultaneously. I have no idea what that means. Let's take a look. We have three batteries. They have three, three, and three. You have two computers. Okay, I see. So then you run, I see. So you just, oh, okay. I see, I see. I think I understand it. I think initially I misunderstood it because, I don't know. Um, I think it's, or I just assumed that for whatever reason that you have fewer batteries than computers. So then I just didn't get how you, but I see. So the idea is that you have more batteries than uh, uh, computers or at least the same. Uh, so, okay. Um... Let's see. Mm, I mean, it, given that n is ten to the fifth, honestly, it is probably going to be some sort of greedy, right? Um, how greedy? I don't know. Or greedy on what is the more important uh, part? Um, one, two, can we do it? Can we do it too, right? I mean, I think the first thing that we should do is sort batteries, right? Um, okay, let's start with the naive is greedy, right? Which just doesn't work because of running time considerations. But the naively, the naiveest would be just that, okay, you have batteries, they go to 10 to the 9, which is too big, but you just simulate one battery at a time, right? So you take the biggest battery, uh, put it in the one of the computer, put another biggest, put in another, da, 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 right? And then when one of them runs out, then you just pick the next bigger or something like that. I don't even know if that's optimal. I mean, I guess there is some like switching things around maybe that makes it uh, more optimal, but um, 
And I think that's optimal. But of course, that is not fast enough, right? Um, in terms of running time, that's going to be too slow. Um, given that it is 10 to the 9, there's still some... I, I think the, the way that I would maybe think about it is... Um, okay, well, what is the answer again? Number of minutes, right? Then the question is, okay, so we can do a binary search, probably, right, on the number of minutes. And then do greedy on it, right, because then now you... Hmm. I'm trying to think whether it is... Can you do it without a knapsack of... Um, Of okay, right? Like if you have four, four. If you say, can we test to see if we can do it four minutes? Oh, oh, oh! I forgot. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Of course. Um, the reason why I, I for for a second I thought it was knapsacky is because I forgot that you can actually uh, move and remove at any given time, and as a result of that, then you never have any extra to waste, right? Because my idea is that, like, let's say you put. I mean, my incorrect idea, by the way. It, with, with why I said knapsack is I was like, okay, well, if you have 10 minutes, uh, let, let's say you're testing for 10 minutes and you have a five and a seven and a five and a six, which one do you go? Well, it affects other things, right? But in this case, you don't because you just um, you just remove them at any time. So then you can remove the five whenever and the six and whenever, right? And then you just use, so then in that way, you can use 10 minutes exactly, right? Without any uh, penalty, because you just for the extra minute will uh, you know swap out something else, right? Um, so okay, try to look at the cases real quick. And I'm trying to think like why is it not just some of the batteries divided by n? Did I miss a case? I mean, okay, I guess you don't have enough batteries. That'll be the the example. Like if you have like, um, if you have like a hundred, or oh, that's a thousand, but one, one, one. And if you have like four batteries or four computers, then of course this is still only one, right? I'm trying to think, what is the logic there with the extra batteries that I'm missing a little bit? What I mean by that is that... Um, obviously with four, you, you do 1,000, but then now what do you do with the extra capacity? And then how do you choose, right? Like, let's say you have four batteries and then now you have like 500, 500, 500. How do you... Then now, let's say you have 502. How do you choose, you know, like the 500 and then the 2, 2, right? Am I missing something? I mean, I clearly am, but... But I feel, I think we're close. Uh, this is also four computers, but we're testing for 502. Or something. Um, I mean, I clearly I am, but uh, sorry, I'm like very uncomfortable the way I'm sitting on the couch. So I'm pull over a chair. Um, hmm. So the question is, how do you greedily choose, right? So you sort. It still feels, but like there's still like a knapsacky thing, right? Or am I missing something? Today I'm not good, okay. Because here you can run this for 500, uh, one, and then one, one, one. 
the idea being that um, 501, right? then how do you match them exactly? Right? Hmm. What is the limiting factor? I guess, right? Like, for example, 501, 501 we can do because we just do 501, 501, 501 with four computers. But then 502 is no bueno, right? Because. Like, you can't just have. Can you? Just have like 500, 500 on one of them. The, the idea being that. No, because then how you can't take the thousand from the oh mm -hmm. and I guess this is a hard one, but I don't feel like feel like I'm close. But how do you? Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Well, at least now you know I didn't cheat because, man, if I cheated and 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 from the answer, I would, you know, this is really embarrassing. But um, hmm, like five o. You said we're five o five, right? And what does that mean? I see. You can't just sum them. Can you? What does 500 and 500 mean? I see, I see. I think that it works except for only in the one case, which the, it's a really weird way to think about it. But the reason why I think it works with two numbers, and I'm trying to touchpad paintbrush this, so excuse me if it's not too good. Um, but my logic is that, let me turn it on. My logic is that, okay, obviously if you have one long one, uh, you have to cut it off, right? Like if you do whatever. But if you have two of them, um, th that was the logic that I'm trying to think is that, well, how, what can you do excessive? Like what can you do with the excessive part? Well, actually, this part you can just say, you know, uh, by the pigeonhole principle, um, like this part can go here, right? Um, because as, as a, by definition, they, they will not overlap. And the reason why they don't overlap is because, well, you could just choose for them to not overlap, but because they don't, it's it's less than your target. So I think maybe that is fine, but that's like a hard logic to kind of co come up with, um, or at least like to prove maybe, I don't know. Uh, all right, let, let's try it. Um, we have, let's do binary search. What's the biggest time? Just ten to the nine, right? Or max batteries, maybe. Uh, though even even technically, I think yeah, maybe that's fine. Whatever, right? Binary search stuff, right? So if good of mid, meaning that we can do um, that uh, you know, target is is achievable, right? Um, if the dog is achievable, then we try something bigger, right? So left is equal to mid, else right is equal to mid minus one, because I have to try something smaller, uh, and that's it, right? And then now, good target, um, okay, the so total is equal to zero, right? And then for, so it's just like for T and batteries, it's, Total, we added by t, uh, min of t, either t or target, right? And then now we just return 
so that's how many uh, uh, battery hours that we have right so then now um, Oh, no, is it hour or minute or whatever it is? I don't know if it's minutes hour, but the number of total units. And then we have n of them, right? So divided by n is greater than or equal to target. Uh, multiply n by on both sides. And maybe this is good. Nope. Am I off by one or just off by a lot? Hmm. I mean, I am off by one, but I, why would, uh, it's a six, nine, nine divided by two. Did I mess up the max battery part? Oh, uh, max battery is three, but that's not, okay, let's just, I don't know, I think I try to be too clever because people always make me too, okay, there you go. Uh, but I usually just do this in contest because I'm, I don't know, it's just easier to write. Uh, ooh. Oh, it's not 10 to the 9, is it? Uh, I usually write infinity like this, but I think today I'm trying to be too, too smart. Because that, that is the upper bound of batteries, but that clearly doesn't even make sense. I should have re-ran it on here, but it's fine. 10 to 20. I, I think I'm just being silly today. Uh, 20, 71 day streak. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is a hard... But annoying, or like, it's not a hard heart, but it's still like a, an annoying one to kind of figure this out. Uh, the logic, uh, oops. I just had to make sure that I didn't have to swing on screen. Uh, huh. Apparently I did it correctly all the other times. Uh, what did I do last time? I guess probably the same thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the code looks exactly the same, so, even though. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you don't like, Today's explanation, check out that day's explanation. Uh, yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, do your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.